going on everybody it is monday august the 8th in this video we are looking at the DraftKings fan duel and price picks baseball picks we have seven games on the main slate today let's go ahead and get started as always if you enjoy the videos appreciate it with the like button for me subscribe if you haven't already you can check out all the links down below in the description if you want to join for football let's do some discount and pass available check out twitter for updates price picks code if you are want to sign up there so getting started today, first game up is the Blue Jays against the Orioles. Wind blowing out here in Camden Yards, a good spot for these Orioles bats against Jordan Lyles, who has been okay for the O's this season, but he still gives up a lot of home runs, giving up 16 already, and he does have a pretty high ERA, and he's not a strikeout pitcher, so you expect some of these Blue Jays bats to get the barrel on the ball and do some damage in this park with the wind blowing out. So I love the Blue Jays bats, and Kikuchi looks like an okay pitching option, but there's some other good ones that are cheap as well. Second game we have is Chris Bassett going up against this uh, dreadful Reds lineup. Uh, sh love his strikeout props on sportsbooks, on price picks. Um, just looking at this lineup, we'll get to it. But there's so many strikeouts in this lineup right now. And then on the Mets side, they're the best stack today going up against Justin Dunn. Uh, 13 mile per hour winds blowing straight out. you got lefties and righties look good, even though they are expensive. Some of these guys are expensive, but still with the value at pitcher that we have today, it's easy to get to those guys. Next game, next two games, I just don't have any interest really in the bats. We have two we have two poor offenses with the Nationals and the Cubs. Wind blowing in in Wrigley Field, so this one looks like a potential nerfy spot. Second game is also a potential nerfy spot. It's not on prize picks, but 3.4 and 3.7 total for each team. We know Oakland's always great for not giving up a lot of runs, and neither I have no confidence in either offense here, so I'm passing on that game. Pitching looks okay in both sides, especially like Suarez at 7K. I definitely don't mind him. We have Blake Snell looks great at 88, one of the top pitching options today. And then the Padres could be a bit of a sneaky stack against Alex Wood, getting to some of these righties like Machado, Bell, Drury as a mini stack. You can throw in Profar in there as well. The Diamondbacks, Zach Gallen is probably one of the best value pitchers today at only $7,900 going up against uh, the Pirates at home. This lineup, even though they got Brian Reynolds back, they're still, besides him and maybe like O'Neal Cruz, you're not worried about a lot of guys with power. And then the final game, we've got two fine pitchers, two pretty good offenses. Now that Mitch Hanniger is back for the Mariners, are starting to come come around, and you know the Yankees have been dangerous all season. But I respect both pitchers, and it's not as good of a ballpark at all, especially at night for the than what the Yankees are used to at home. So for me, I'm going with some of the 7K pitchers so I can pay up for the Mets bats and pay up for the Padres bats. First guy is going to be Zach Gallen against the Pirates, and then second pitcher is going to be, uh, you can definitely make a case for like Suarez at 7K, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't mind getting to both, leaving me with 44 almost left for the last few spots for the for the bats today. And Gallon has been great um, for most of the season. has been pretty consistent. He goes deep into games, 103, 97, 97, 93. Uh, recently, the Pirates pose not much of a threat offensively. And then Suarez had a couple of good games as well for him. Back-to-back -back games with almost 40 combined fantasy points, just 39 and a half. Uh, he went 79, but last game he went 91 pitches. Uh, so hopefully if he's pitching well, they let him go deep into the game. He's already dominated Oakland already recently for 20 and a half fantasy. So these two pitchers I really like for the value. Payups would be Bassett and Blake Snell. Another value piece could be Kikuchi at $6,800, but... Uh, I'm looking to get to some um, expensive bats today. So first guy up is going to be Pete Alonzo. Going up against John at home with the wind blowing out. He's up to 29 home runs on the season. Seems like a great day to make it 30. Uh, at home, he's batting 298, 12 home runs. Uh, looks like a great top-end first base option. Him and Vlad are the top two spots. At second base, going with his teammate who's been crushing it is Jeff McNeil, who's $4,400, batting about Middle of the lineup, probably bets around six. In his last ten, he's really come around. 409 batting average. He's not a guy that strikes out a lot. Only 46 strikeouts on the season, and he's making, he's finally getting some of those hits that were getting out to get, to get into the bait, uh, to get into the outfield, to get past the defenders. And we've seen a multitude of multi-hit games for him recently. He's really locked in at the plate. So second base is all already pretty weak today. So I really don't mind getting to McNeil at all. Normally, I don't get to a guy like him with not too much power, but making great contact and Mets should score a lot of runs. Hopefully, he's going to contribute in those categories. In the outfields, uh, I like Lourdes Goriel 
another hitter that uh, for the Jays might be having a down season in terms of power, but in terms of batting average and RBI has been solid, not striking out a crazy ton for him this year. It's just been very good and pretty much consistent all season for them. At $4,000, really don't mind getting to him. And last guy, another New York Met. They're the best stack today, in my opinion. Going Brandon Nimmo, leadoff hitter, lefty-righty matchup. Uh, another guy that's been on fire in his last 10, 349 for the Mets. Uh, they were putting up a lot of runs in the Atlanta series. Before that, you know, they beat up on, well, Atlanta they faced back-to-back -back starts, but they put up some big runs against the Nationals, which every team has been doing. Uh, but give me the three best Mets in terms of recent form, Alonzo, McNeil, Brandon Nimmo, you can throw in Marte in the mix, throw in Lindor. Uh, but the Mets and Blue Jays, probably the two teams I've really focused on stacking today with a couple cheaper pitchers. So that's it for DraftKings. Go ahead and touch on FanDuel. So on FanDuel, same exact plays here with Zach Allen as my pitcher, Alonzo as my first base payup option. Uh, McNeil's really cheap on FanDuel at 28, so he looks like a great value. And then the outfield, we could potentially be getting two leadoff hitters. We know Nimmo's going to be leading off, but Gurriel could be leading off because they put um, Springer back on the IL. So... It's going to be whatever it happens to be the lineup. It's going to be in a couple of spots advantage for Goriel, if not five spots, and he bats leadoff for them. Uh, but you definitely may, will make a case for batting leadoff the way that he's been swinging the bat recently, getting on base, which is exactly what you want your leadoff hitter to do. So that's it. Uh, another pitcher on FanDuel. I mean, you could definitely pay off for Bassett if you wanted to, value-wise. If you wanted to go all the way down to $6,600 Suarez, that's okay. But even paying off for Gallon, I still have 3000 left for the last few spots, so. FanDuel, it's a little bit easier because you only have one pitching spot to pay, just pay up for the, uh, one of the top options. And usually you get enough value hitters that, to make it work. So that's it for DFS. Look at price picks. All right, so on price picks today, first prop I'm looking at is UC Kikuchi over four and a half strikeouts. If we look at the matchup for him against uh, the Orioles, they've been striking out a good amount of time recently. And if you look at Kikuchi's numbers, he's been good this season, well over a strikeout per inning, 25 and a half strikeouts. Uh, strikeout rate. Everybody on this team has over a 20% strikeout rate. You have a couple guys north of 28% with McKenna and Mateo at the bottom. Uh, and you're getting all righties for the most part, except for Mullins batting leadoff, so eight righties. And looking at this season's numbers, uh, he has a 26% strikeout rate against righties, 21.7 against lefty. So I got to love this number for Kikuchi. He's hit this in 10 of his last 14 starts, hitting the over. He's gotten at least five strikeouts in 10 of his last 14 games. Second one is over five and a half strikeouts on Chris Bassett, another uh, top end, well, another good value prop, I would say. If you look at this uh, Reds team, uh, so many strikeouts, especially since they traded away a couple of their lower strikeout guys on the trade deadline, and you get a lot of inexperienced guys at the bottom here. Uh, so for a guy like Chris Bassett, who's been great all season, uh, strike ra strikeout rate is pretty similar on both sides, 25% to lefties. He's going to get you know, at least four lefties in the lineup, five righties, bottom, has a lot of strikeouts, and Bassett on the season, he's hit this 15 of 25 games uh, with a lot more recently in the last couple of months. So that's the second prop I like to get me six strikeouts. Third one is Suarez over 25 and a half fantasy. If he pitches like he did the last two games, it should be no problem. I expect hopefully that they let him go six innings to get the quality start. Get the never know, but Oakland's been very bad. Angels been very bad too as well. A chance to get the win against uh, Cole Urban, even though he's not favored, but it should be a lower scoring game, so hopefully he's able to just get you some strikeouts, navigate, not get blown up, and get us at least 26 fantasy. Fourth prop is under half a run. Cubs Nationals, we know it's in Wrigley Field, wind blowing in, which is a big advantage if the wind is blowing out. You expect it to be a lot of runs, wind blowing in. A lot of fly balls will just turn into routine uh, pop-ups for the outfielders, or pop-ups even for the infielders, depending on how deep they're playing. But that's a, a nerfy that I like. And the last one is over 8.5 fantasy on the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Expect the Mets to do a lot of damage today. You can take his prop. You can take Nimmo's prop. Take some of these Blue Jays props. But usually I like to focus on a lot of pitchers and the hitters just because they're a little bit less volatile. Uh, but for the value hitters, it would be like Gurriel, if he, especially if he's batting leadoff. I like Alonzo a lot. And uh, Brennan Nimmo, his over 1.5 bases prop is valid. Uh, but that's it for today. Best of luck. Hope you guys enjoy your day, and I will see you all next time.